Okay guys, so I'm in Home Depot. I'm trying to look for the ready shades. I think it's these. Yeah, these are it. Ready shade. Um and they're like five bucks each. Guys, before I go, look at these lights I wanted to show you guys. They're so pretty. All of these are so pretty. I used to want these in the old house. Like that square um square one right there that's mounted for $1.89. And this is like this, this um pendant light. It's so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Let's look at the other lights to see what they have. Look at these. So pretty. They, um, I wonder if they have the uh, pendant light that I want to replace the lights over my island. Yes, they do. This is the light that I want right here. I was telling you guys that this is 60 bucks. And it's by the brand Home Decorators Collection. I've seen other YouTubers with this one, but it's so pretty. So I think I want to change the three lights over my island to that one. What do you guys think? They also have this one down here, which is this one back here. But I don't think that looks like really good. That's this one. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get out of here and head to the grocery store. Hey guys, um, it is Wednesday, March 28th. Just got off from work at 6 o'clock. Did not get until 9.30 today because I could not get out of bed. Um, but you saw in the last clip that I cooked dinner, which is rare. So I was tired after I cleaned the kitchen and stuff. But look what I got. I got all my ready shades back here from Home Depot. So I'm going to put those up tonight. I may try to vlog a little bit for you guys. Or at least I'll show you the finished um, result after I put them up. Um, work was cool today. It was very long. I hate going in later now and to think I used to start all the time at for years I started work at 10 o'clock and didn't leave until 6 but now I'm just used to leaving earlier But I put up an IG post today about Z gallery put a lot of their Ming boxes on sale for 50% off So they were like $29.89 originally they were 60 bucks and the color that I have been waiting for and I in the teal or cerulean color went on clearance for $30 so I placed that order and did store pickup so I'll pick it up on Saturday or sometime this weekend um, but a lot of you guys um, appreciated that post and said that you guys were going to place an order as well so I, that warms my heart and makes me happy that you know when when any of us find deals like we just let each other know because without a lot of you guys even seeing my IG post a lot of you guys either commented um, put sent me comments on other uh, YouTube videos that I've posted or sent me um, DMs to my Instagram account letting me know that you guys saw them that they were on sale for cheaper than the $41 um, so you know to go ahead and order them so I that was like amazing to me like that just makes me so happy that we all look out for each other and one of the um, one one of uh, the family members was sending me a direct message on IG as I was creating my IG post to tell the rest of you guys so I told her and we, we chatted back and forth so shout out to you um, but yeah so that was like my high for today the Z gallery meme boxes I'm really excited about that I also ordered um, a 7x10 rug from Christmas tree shops for the living room upstairs which is where the couches and everything are right now it's gray and white and the pattern is different I originally wanted the same rug that's in my dining room to go in that living room as well because it's so close to each other and the rooms are open um, but overstock hasn't um, restocked that size rug in that pattern um, in a long time so I don't know that they are and so I just want to try out this one it was on sale all their 7 by 10 rugs were on sale for 70 bucks 69.99 which is really good because for the rug that I brought off of Overstock for the dining room, I paid $125 for that. And then the rug that I brought in this in the living room now that used to be in my family room at the old house, I brought that rug from Target and I brought it twice and both times I paid $100 for it because I got it on sale and, and some other stuff but so that's still more than 70 bucks for the same size rug so I went ahead and ordered this one and we'll see if the shade of gray it's gray and white again we'll see if the shade of gray 
is right if the shade of white is correct we'll see if not i can always just take it back to the store because i do have a christmas tree shops um in my area so those are the two home purchases i made today my mom asked me to send her the links to the acrylic bar stools that i want to get so i'm assuming i may have a gift coming soon but i don't know we'll see um, I sent her the link to the ones, the counter height ones at CB2, and also some dupes that look identical from Overstock, which is not a big price um, difference in, in both of them, so I guess you can take her pick. Um, but yeah, so we'll see about that. Um, what else? What else do I have to do today? Today I am posting, uh, yesterday I filmed my... Um, Chloe Kardashian inspired cookie jars and so I edited for the most part I edited that today and I just have to do the voiceover for some parts when I get home tonight after I put up my ready shades since dinner is already taken care of because I cooked so much food yesterday um, I don't have to worry about dinner so I want to get those two things done today um, and then we'll see how I'm feeling since it's already six o'clock I'm probably going to be tired after that and I really want to try to get some sleep and get in the bed at a decent hour because yesterday um i was up talking to stace half the night and um yeah i couldn't get out of bed this morning hence why i got to work at 9 30 so i'm gonna try to do better i woke up thinking today was thursday when i found out it was wednesday i was very disappointed <laughs> i was very disappointed but anyway um so yeah i'm headed to actually i gotta stop the bank um to handle some business and then I'll be heading home so I will see you guys at home when it's time to put up the ready shades and if any of you guys have ever used these or put them up let me know how you like them one of my my, my girlfriend that um, lives close by me she said that it's not hard at all and she said they actually last um, a while so I don't have to worry about like taking them down you know within a week or two or anything she was just like you know if you don't manipulate them and stuff then they can stay there for a long time so we'll see eventually i am going to get the same blinds that i put up in my bedroom i just need to measure remeasure again the windows in that living room because i lost my paper i think i left it in the cart at home depot when i brought the, the blinds for my bedroom and um i, I gotta figure out how to hang them on the bay window because my window goes all the way up to the ceiling of the bay window and hers doesn't so it was easier for her to hang hers so i'm gonna do that um soon but for right now these ready shades are going up so i will see you guys in the next clip bye hey y'all so i just got home and um i had a big package waiting at my door um i ordered this on monday from etsy and it's um i told you guys from my brother's baby shower i'm doing one of those greenery flower garden walls and so we needed the the baby's name and this just came it's actually actually pretty thick wood as well so i just have to spray paint it gold but the baby's name is uh tamia marie um and then obviously she has a last name but it's pretty um i was debating on whether i should just do that's the lady trying to come in i was debating on whether i should just do her first name or do both names but i liked doing both and then eventually after the shower they're gonna hang it i guess over the baby's crib but it's a nice size i think it was like 50 or 60 bucks um including the shipping so that's not bad and um we're also we'll also use the backdrop it's going to be behind the dessert table but we'll also use it afterwards for photo opportunities so yeah i'm going to spray paint it gold and i'll probably use the gold spray paint those are my cookies i did yesterday that i already had that i used what did i use this gold for <clears throat> i don't know what i used this for um i think i used it for one of my other friends baby shower um decor but i have some so i'll just use that but yeah it's really pretty and it's actually really good quality so um if you guys are looking for something like this they put their business card it's called C Gen Craft. See that? And then they have an Etsy shop. This hacker is the one who owns it. But this was really fast because again, I just placed this order on Monday and it was on my doorstep. It wasn't supposed to come until 
tomorrow, Thursday, but it actually came today. So I also ordered a um, cake topper, but that's gonna come tomorrow, I think. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. These are my ready shades that I'm gonna put up as soon as I get something to eat. So I'm gonna put one here and then the other three on this window and see how I'm saying my windows go all the way up to the top. So I have to figure out a way to, I think these windows were actually too big and they customized the ceiling to fit them because my girlfriend's doesn't look like this. She actually has space on the top of hers. Um, but yeah, I have to figure out how to hang um, real blinds up at that window. But for right now, I am going to have some ready shades. So I'm gonna eat and then I'll come back and show you guys when it's all finished. Hey y'all, so I just hung this one. I trimmed it on the end and I hung this one, but it's not long enough. And in the store they only came up to 72 inches. I mean, you could get it wider, but 72 was the longest. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. It, it came with two clips, but the clips, I don't have anything to clip it down to. And I think the clip is just to hold the excess if you wanted to, you know, um, push them up to see like out the window. But I wanted mine all the way down. So you just, it is an adhesive strip on it. You adhere it to the top, but they won't go all the way to the bottom. And I know these windows are not standard size windows. They are definitely longer, but I wanted my whole window to be covered. And they'll go all the way down but they have to be pulled. So I don't know what's gonna hold that down there like that. I don't like the look of it like this because you can still see out right there. So I was thinking about cutting another one and just extending it. I don't know, ay ay ay. I'll let you guys know what I come up with. I had to take another one out of the pack and cut it and attach it to the bottom with the adhesive strip. So now I have to buy double the amount because I want my whole window covered. So this is how it's going to look with the extra. And I could probably cut off some of that and use it for the bottom ones over there, but I am gonna have to go back and get some more, but at least I get privacy. So I am going to work on this window over here, at least this, the center one. And then I'll go tomorrow, have to work to pick up however many more I need, probably two more. So we'll see. All right, bye. Hey y'all, so here's my solution. Remi remember, I only brought four, so I used two over there. And these are the two. So I did the back one first, and then I overlapped this one so that it would cover because that window is actually wider than 36 inches, so there was some left on the sides and I didn't want people to be able to see out see in from outside. So I just have to get another one for there. And then it looks like I pretty much have to get three more, um, four more actually, because I need one for there to hang. And of course it doesn't go all the way down. So I need one for each one that I put up here so that it will go all the way to the windowsill, like that one. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot tomorrow and get four more. These were only $5 each, I think. Um, so another 20 bucks on them. So all, all in total, I would have brought in, brought eight and it would be 40 bucks. Um, but it's a quick fix right now. Um, it sucks because I probably could have gotten the real one for that window for 20 bucks, um, for 40 bucks. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll buy the real one and then move this one on that window over there. Maybe I'll do that. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, because then that means I'll only have to buy two more instead of four. So I will spend $10 plus the 40 or just spend the 40. <clears throat> so I don't know, but eventually it's going to look um, decent. And from the outside, you won't be able to look in, which is really what I want, so. But this is the finished one here, and I am going to trim off some of the bottom eventually, or I may just leave it like that. I don't know. It's temporary until I get the real deal, so we'll see. But okay, see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. There's Lady. She's laying on the couch right there. And these are just the clips that came with it, but I don't plan to ever raise these, so I'm going to get rid of the clips. Hey, y'all. It's Friday.
March 30th. Just got off, well, I've been off of work for about eight minutes. It's 5 away. Um, so I got there at 8.30 today. Hey. Um, there was no traffic. I think, um, well, I know D.C. public schools are out on spring break. So I guess a lot of parents opted not to go to work this week. But it's been a blessing to me because I've been able to leave my house 30 minutes before I need to be at work. Um, or 30 minutes before I get to work, which is better than an hour. So, yes. Um, let's see. What happened in the last clip? Oh, I was putting up my temporary shades. So yesterday I went and I brought, I had to buy four more because I showed you in the last um, vlog that... Well, in the last clip, not the last vlog, in the last clip, because I think this is going on that vlog, um, that they didn't come down far enough for my windows, because my windows are not standard size, um, so I had to go get four more to put on, to attach them to the bottoms, so I'll show you that when I get home, and I'm going to cut the excess off, because there's so much excess that it's actually heavy, and it's falling off the window seals, so I need to just cut some of the excess off, um, but so far, so good, I mean, it doesn't look like real blinds but it looks better than having my windows all the way open um it looks better than like a sheet or something like that up there which was not even an option for me um so yeah uh i'll show you that when i get home what else i went to home depot yesterday when i went to go get the extra blinds and i got a paint kit you can see the bag back there i got a paint kit and some white spray paint because I have a DIY coming up with an accent wall for my eating kitchen area. I'm gonna really, really, really try to record that and get that done this weekend and then hopefully get it posted for you guys by Monday. We'll see. Um, this weekend is Easter, which totally snuck up on me. Oh my goodness, like it's Easter already, 2018, which is crazy. So I'm gonna go home to my parents' house hang with them of course hang with my fam for Easter on Sunday we're gonna do Easter breakfast this year which is should be interesting and then we'll just have dinner my mom is actually really sick with bronchitis right now um, so I don't know how big we're gonna do it for Easter I don't think we're gonna do it big just because she primarily does a lot of the cooking and my grandmother is there as well but you know um, I don't, I don't think we're going to do it that big. But still, it'll be good to just hang with them and chill with them. Because I really haven't chilled with my family since since I moved out and moved into my own place. I mean, outside of moving day and that wasn't really chilling with them. We were working. Um, I've been to the house a couple of times. Like last weekend, um, I picked up Bentley and picked up Lady. And I've been there a couple times to grab things here and there. But not just to chill, you know. So that'll be good. And then it's the holidays. And I'm a big holiday buff like I love the holidays I don't care what holiday it is I just really really love the holidays so I'm excited about Easter um, I'm gonna try to make it to church but I have a lot of stuff to do around the house so depending on how Saturday goes we'll see I'm gonna really try to make it to church um, what are some of you guys's traditions that you do for Easter like I don't know growing up we always had Easter baskets and I remember we had a huge Easter egg hunt with all of like my cousins and stuff at um, the house my family was living at when me and my brother were really little this was before my twin sisters were born um, and we had a fenced backyard so all my cousins my aunts uncles came over they brought all the kids over and I guess they hid all the eggs and we we have pictures of us in our like Sunday's best going through the yard with our um, Easter baskets finding eggs and stuff so that was cool and of course we always had Easter baskets every year my mom made us Easter baskets and we got to dye eggs and stuff like that so what's some of you guys's traditions for Easter I don't have any kids obviously um, but I usually will do something at my parents house for the kids that are constantly there like Benny um, and Christian and stuff um, but Christian's getting older now he's almost eight he'll be eight this year which is crazy and Billy's so young he he'll be um he's four four so he's still young he still gets into it but um I haven't done anything in a while besides just buying them the pre-made Easter baskets so what's some of you guys' traditions that you do with your kids or some traditions that you guys did with your families when you were younger or whatever because that'll be cool and eventually I do want to have kids so I want to have all the fun ideas bad enough I'm be an older parent right so yeah just tell me 
what you guys are doing this Easter and some of your best Easter traditions like and we'll do this every holiday because my favorite 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 holiday is Christmas and I got traditions coming for my kids out the yin yang even they're not even traditions because I'm just making them up but we're gonna do them like I love Christmas so tell me what your Easter plans are tell me what your traditions are and everything down in the comments below I'd love to hear that um what else oh this week i talked to a lot of you guys my subbies you know we hit 10,000 subscribers this week whoop, whoop. um i think we're at like 10,100 now actually um and i'm just super excited about it i told you guys in the last vlog like that's crazy i did never thought my channel would get this big it did take a while but that was because it takes a while one to just start out and two um i wasn't this active in my channel all along um, so here lately I've been putting a lot more effort into it a lot more time um, and a lot more resources and everything and I can see the end result and so the family has grown I'm so thankful you guys are so cool um, so thank you for that thanks for being loyal um, but this week I spoke to some some more of you guys have reached out and um, DM me on IG like and I always respond like I said like it's cool um, don't feel like you're flooding me or anything like that like I respond unless you say something rude and then and I usually just skip over your comments I do I'm not going to answer them um, but the majority of you guys are really really nice and um, you guys send me messages and stuff send me pictures it's so cool like I love it I love it I love it some of you guys have reached out to me and said hey I have a YouTube channel too if you don't already follow me you should subscribe and follow my channel so I found a lot of your channels through you guys just reaching out to me telling me hey I have a channel I love home decor check it out you may like some stuff on there and I do it so that's been cool um i feel like i know you guys it's like crazy like <laughs> but it's funny because i know you guys by your names on ig so a lot of times and i don't usually pay attention that much to what you're if you do include your real name in the message because i constantly always i'm following you guys on ig so i always see your ig named so yeah um it's so funny that i always think of you guys by your IG names and everybody knows that your IG name not is not always necessarily your real name or whatever so it'll be a phrase sometime and I'm like oh yeah that's this phrase but that's clearly not her name you know so it's, it's just funny um so yeah that was good um this week it was good to interact with you guys um what else what else what else I'm trying to get everything for my stairwell makeover the wall makeover i want to do for there the only thing i'm missing now is i have to order the shots of all the kids like their parents have given me the digital files and i just need to order them on like snapfish or shutterfly in black and white because i want to do black and white i think that'll look better than just all the different colors in the pictures um and i need to find my stencil from cutting edge stencils that i brought for my dining room makeover in the last house um I can't find it I don't I remember putting rolling it up and putting it in a box and it's a huge stencil I remember it but I don't know what happened like I, I don't know where that box is and again I'm missing I'm not I don't want to say I'm missing it I just don't know where it is I don't know where it is so I need to find that that's the hold up on that um, so I'll probably place the picture order really really soon like really soon um, hopefully by this weekend hopefully um, so yeah but I'm gonna do the accent wall in the kitchen first because I have everything for that now that I got the spray paint I of course forgot painters tape so I gotta go back to Home Depot I swear Home Depot needs to sponsor me as well as the gallery because I swear that they get at least a third of my income um, I am in a wedding one of my best friends she lives in Jersey she's getting married in May Memorial Day weekend and me and Stacy are in the wedding it's out of the country it's in um, Punta Cana Dominican Republic I've been there before on vacation um, so I just brought my plane tickets yesterday for that we still have to book our rooms which they're selling out so we need to do that tonight um, but we're gonna go for four days so that's that'll be fun that'll be a well-deserved vacation because I need a break y'all I probably won't be vacationing anymore anytime soon 
because I got all these household bills to pay by myself. So I'm gonna enjoy this vacation. We ordered our dresses a couple weeks ago, so hopefully those will be shipped out soon. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. That'll be cool. I brought some swimsuits. Again, you know, um, I'm always trying to do the most, but for the least amount of money. So last year, at the end of like the um, summer season, I stocked up on some new swimsuits that I, were brand new and I haven't worn them yet. And then last year, in springtime I bought two swimsuits for last year and I only wore them like twice so I'm excited for that I shouldn't really need anything for the trip but I'll probably pick up a few things I have tons and tons of sundresses and shorts and okay y'all so I just got in the house for a walking lady and these are the ready shades I was telling you guys about so I put them up but you see how I had to connect another one on the bottom and there's so much slack <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna cut Take some scissors and cut some of that off so that it just like maybe just a couple of them fall on the um a couple of the pleats fall on the windowsill and not the whole stack because as you can see over here these have already fell off of the windowsill so i need to cut them so i'm going to do that and then probably get something to eat and yeah that's pretty much about it um so i have some more boxes to do I'm going to take my shoes and stuff upstairs and clean up a little bit. But, yeah. So, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, y'all. So, I just cut off. It's the next day, actually. Saturday. Um, I just cut off the excess. There it is down there. Kids were playing with it. But, um, cut off the excess. So, I think it looks fine for right now until I get something more permanent. Um, I did purchase a rug for in here for when I get my new furniture. So, I'm going to see if i can have that um brought upstairs and tested out it said gray and white online so i ordered it but then when it came the label on the bag says gray and off-white so i'm a little nervous but we shall see once i get it up here so um i will see you guys in the next clip bye